going on guys, the Balmer Reviews here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a way you can get a yellow circle around your mouse for PC. I know this is not video game related, but I like to do tutorials on my channel sometimes too, so today is just one of those days of making a tutorial. The program we're going to be using to get the yellow circle around our uh, mouse is Pointer Focus. The link will be in the description to go to the Pointer Focus website where you can download it. Go down to where you find this video here and click this download here, and it's going to download the PF setup. As you guys can see, I've already downloaded this before, and I'm just going to wait until it's done. Okay, it's done. And I downloaded this to my desktop, it may be in your downloads or wherever you directed it to go. Next, you want to run the PF setup. And you guys might get a Windows Smart Screen uh, protected your PC, like this right here. And this is totally normal. Uh, some of you guys might get it, some of you guys might. The reason for this is because it's actually going to make changes to your mouse, not permanently or anything like that, but it's going to temporarily put a yellow circle around your mouse, so you have to obviously make sure that's okay. You want to click More Info here, and you want to click Run Anyway. This is going to allow the program to install. Click Yes. And you want to click English or whatever your language is. There's only two for this, so hopefully you guys speak English or Dutch. Um, and then it's going to say welcome to the Pointer Focus Setup Wizard, and you want to click accept the agreement, click next, next, and now it's going to ask you if you would like to create a quick launch icon or a desktop icon. I'm going to do a desktop for this video, and let this program install. Next, you could select whether you would like to launch uh, Pointer Focus when just done installing which it already is, uh, or not, I'm going to do that. And now it's launching up, as you guys can see, and at this point we are done with the setup. So I'm just going to recycle that. And as you guys can see, you're going to have this yellow circle around, which you do not want. We're going to get the one where it's completely filled in. So you want to go to settings here, and you're going to see the first thing that comes up is what we want, which is the highlight cursor. You want to make this size 60, and you guys could all, all um, gosh, I cannot talk. You guys can also make this to whatever you want. This is just what I like to do. And I make the circle with 30. Next, there you guys go. And you guys could do the click animation if you would like. I'm not going to do that because I, I just like it like this. And then this right here is going to adjust how light or how dark your circle is. If you have it the darkest and you like, I'll just move this over here, and you highlight over it, you can't see the text. So I like to do at least in the middle right here so you can still see through it, but it's still pretty dark. And then you're going to click OK. Now, once you have everything configured, you want to click minimize, and there you guys go. It's running, and it'll run on all the way until you want to um, exit it off. And when you want this to go away, all you have to do is go to where the apps are running right now, right click, and you could click uh, show keystrokes, which I'm not going to select. Um, right click again and click exit, and as you guys can see, it turns off. Oh, it was well, going to say it might say it stopped working, but. Then again, turn it back on. If this turns it back on, but you guys get the idea. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video.